Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. Thank you so much for joining us in this journey of 20 days of yoga. Today is our, which day is today? Our 16th day. Fantastic everybody. Well, well done. So let's start. Remember this breath. We're going to inhale, bending the knees, arms up, and exhale, extend the legs, arms down. So let's go. Inhale and exhale through your nose. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. And last one. Inhale and exhale. Let's go spine roll, so we come at the front of your mat, and we go, inhale, and exhale, head go down, bend your legs, remember this part, and let the head drop down, inhale at the end, and exhale, roll up, and we're just going to add the shoulder rolling backward, just to give us time to release, inhale, exhale, spine roll, Inhale, and exhale, roll up. And we just roll our shoulders as well. Let's go for two more. Inhale, and exhale, spine roll. So we go down all the way with our back curving. Bending the knees if we need it to let the tummy come close to our thighs. Inhale, and exhale, push the ground and roll up again your spine. And roll your shoulders backward. Just one more. Inhale. And exhale. We roll down. Inhale at the end. And exhale. And just we roll up. And roll your shoulders backwards. Now we're going to go inhale. A squat. Keeping your back straight. As far as you can go, exhale, forward bend, palms this time on the ground, bending the knees if you need it. Inhale, we straight our back, hands on our hips, and raise the torso. Step backwards, left foot, warrior one. As far as you can go, bend the front knee, arms come up, palms together. We lift them up as much as you can go. We take here four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three, two, and just one more. We bring our hands back onto the hips. We lean forward. We let the chest go down and we can drop our hands on the ground. Fantastic. If not, we keep it onto your hips. And hold here for four. Feeling nice stretch in your legs. Let's go for three, two, and just one more. Inhale, hands on your hips, and exhale, come all the way up, keeping your back straight. Bring your legs together. Let's go one more time. Inhale, squat. Keeping your back straight, exhale, forward bend, palms beside your feet if it's possible. Inhale, straight your back, chest up. You can bend the knees, hands on your hips, push the ground, raise your torso. And this time we're going to add, lift the heels, balance yourself in your big toes, and release down. Step backwards, left foot, right foot, sorry, so the opposite, as far as you can go. Palms to the front. If you cannot bring the palms together, you can separate them, okay? Inhale, push the ground to stretch your tummy. We hold here for four, three, two, just one more. Back to center, hands on your hips. Lean forward, again, if we can, drop the hands on the ground, fantastic. If not, we keep them on your chair, on your hips. We hold for four, three, two, 
on it. Let's go for the three. On it. Let's go two. And just one more. Inhale, stretch your back, come all the way up. Good, bring your legs together. One more time, a squat, inhale. And exhale, forward bend. Inhale, stretch your back, hands on your hips. Come all the way up. Great. And let's go just one more time to go all the way down. So inhale, squat. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, stretch your back. Slide the left foot forward, backward, sorry, as far as you can go. So type of lunge. Good. And from here, we're just going to bring your right arm behind your back, left hand on the ground or your fist. You can bend the back knee or you can drop it on the floor if you feel it's too much. We twist towards to the right as far as we can go. Reach with your right hand, your left waist. And we hold for a four. And a Let's go for a three, good, two, and just one more. We release, bring the right left knee on the ground, straight the front leg as far as you can keep your tummy touching your thigh. Doesn't matter if it's tiny. Remember, no pain involved. Let's hold it here as far as you can go for four. On it. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. And we bend the front knee. Good. Now we're going to hear from here. We're going to step forward again. Forward bend. Inhale, straighten your back, hands on your hips, come all the way up. And one more time, we're going to lift the hips and balance yourself on your big toes and release down. Good. Let's go down again. Inhale, squat. Exhale, forward bend, keeping your tummy close to your tight. Inhale, lift the chest. Slide the right foot backwards as far as you can go. Hands or fist on the ground. Release your left hand behind your back, reaching your right waist. Press with your feet to twist those to the left. And we hold for four. You can drop the knee on the ground if you need it. Let's go three. Two. And just one more. We release, drop the knee onto the ground, and again, we straight the front leg as far as we feel good. If here is good, I feel without pain until here, okay? You can toe, curl the toes under at the back or point them away. So we go, inhale, and exhale as far as you can go. And we go for three, inhale. On it. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Remember always you can flex upon your foot to release your muscles. Bend the knee at the front. Shift the weight and drag the right foot forward. Bend your knees if you need it to forward bend, doesn't matter how much we need to bend. Inhale, stretch your back, hands on your hips, come all the way up. And one more time, we lift the heels, balance ourselves on your big toes. And release. We go again. Inhale, squat. And exhale, fall forward. Bend in the knees if you need it. Inhale, stretch your back. This time we go. Right and left. Bring your knees on the ground. Elbows onto the ground. 
we're just going to plank. You can keep your knees on the ground or lift your knees. We hold it here for four and exhale for three, two, just one more. Release, bring your knees on the ground. Keep the same arms position, or if you need to bring your hands forward, open your elbows wider. If you, in case you have pain in your lower back, remember, no pain in your lower back. Of course, in anywhere, but when we're doing back bend, always adapt and move the hands forward, open the elbows wider. We go inhale and exhale, lift your elbows, and stretch your back, sorry, stretch your tummy, arching your back. We hold for four breaths, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three, two, and just one more. And we release, bring your chest down, bring your hands beside your chest, push your body up, and we're gonna rest all the way onto child pose. Sitting back, I feel nice sensation in your lower back. As far as you can bring your bone down to your heels, we hold here for four. And let's go for three, two, just one more. We raise our torso, bring our hands at the back, we lift the pelvis. As far as we can go to stretch our thighs, we hold here for four. Open your chest. Let's go for three. Open up. Two. And just one more. And we release. Good. Back again onto all fours. Let's go into downward dog. Inhale. And exhale, downward dog. We go inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, heels down. Let's go for three. Down. Two. Down. And just one more. Release your knees onto the ground. Good. I'm gonna go against the wall. Remember this is a stretch we do against the wall that we lift the pelvis by pressing your feet against the wall. We're gonna do that one. Remember. The last part, we hold there, stretching our neck, stretching our back. And if we feel comfy, we release one foot over the head and then the other one. Only we feel comfortable. If you need to forward a little bit of the video to see what we are going to do and then rewind to do it with us, it's okay. Just be safe. Remember, there is no point to run in yoga. Give it time to your body. Okay? So let's go. So we bring our mat on the wall. And remember to really rise safe into the mat. We sit down outside the mat. Bring your bone in this corner between the wall and the mat. Lie down parallel to the mat and bring your bone closer. Now we help us with our hands and our feet to come all the way. And we are all ready. Our bone touching the wall. Our feet on the wall. We go inhale. And exhale, push the wall and we lift our pelvis. If we need to move a little bit more our feet, we catch our hips, we stretch at the maximum of our neck. We hold here for four, three, two, and just one more. And slowly we release the spine onto the ground. Bring your feet a little bit lower, feet together. Open your leg onto the butterfly and if you can drop more your feet, it's okay. And we just hold here for four without pain. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Bring your knees together. Bring your feet back again onto the wall. 
Lift your pelvis, come back to the same position, catch our hips. We're going to lift the right leg up towards the ceiling. We hold here one breath. Inhale and exhale. Bend the leg, left leg straight up. We take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. And release. Now, we lift, release the right foot from the wall. Bring it close to your tummy. And if you feel comfy, release the other one and let the boat come over your head. You have your hands on your hips. Remember that you're supporting your hips. And we just let the feet drop as far as we feel comfortable. And we just hold it here. If you don't reach the ground, keep your legs bent. We hold for four. Deep breath. Three. and just one more now keep holding your hips with your hands release the right foot slowly onto the wall and then the left if you didn't feel comfortable releasing both legs you just keep your feet always against the wall release your spine onto the ground slowly Bring your knees close to your tummy. Squeeze the legs. We hold for four, three, two, and just one more. Now we stand the legs. We straight the legs against the wall. As far as you feel comfy, open your arms beside your shoulders, palms facing down, and we're just going to hold here, extending our legs. We hold here for four. Flex your feet if you want, or move them, paddling them. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Now bend your legs and we're rolling onto the side to come away from the wall and come back and we just scroll a little bit <laughs> and we just go on to child pose. We hold for two more breaths. Inhale, deep, feeling the release in your spine. And one more. Ah, oh, scared. Let's come back lying on your mat. Get ready. So lying on the floor, we're just gonna do the last stretches. How you feel? It's really good this exercise because when we do that, the lift the legs, the shoulders stand, and if you could do the halasana, all our organs collapse into the lungs, and it's give a nice massage, it stimulate blood circulation in the endocrine system, and also it helps us to stimulate the thyroid gland, that's why after we feel like a floating. <laughs> so let's get you our last stretches. Bring your right ankle at the top of the left thigh, just to Give us more mobility in the legs. Lift the left foot. Bring your legs closer to you. And we hold here for four. And three. Two. And just one more. Now, we completely cross the thighs. Mm -hmm. Let the left foot go on the ground, drop the knees towards to the left side, extend your right arm on the floor, and we just, with the left hand, we press a little bit the legs, but without lifting the shoulder blades. And we just hold here for four, three, two, and just one more. 
and we come back to center and cross the leg. So first the left ankle rest onto the right thigh, lift the right foot and bring your knees closer. And we just hold it here for four. Three. Two. And there's one more. We then just cross completely the thighs, let the right foot go on the ground, drop the knees onto the side. You can help us with your right hand. Maintain the left arm straight beside your shoulder, move your face opposite direction of your legs. And we hold for four. Three. Two. And just one more. And back to center and cross your legs. Lift your feet off the ground and squeeze the legs towards to you. Bring your head off the ground, rocking backward and forward. Come into the sitting pose. And we're just going to go our last stretch. We bend the legs to allow us to catch our feet. If it's not possible, we catch the ankles or we can come back to hugging the knees from behind. And we're just going to keep our tummy close to the thighs and we're going to extend the legs as far as we keep our tummy close to the thighs. We can keep our feet flexed or pointing away, but maintain them active. Ready? We just got the last stretch. Remember, no forcing. No pulling, if I need to bend my legs, it's okay. And we hold here for four, three, two, always feeling nice stretch. And the last one. That's good, raise your torso. Good, everybody. We're just going to sit down in a comfortable position to finish our session. Inhale, arms up. Feeling good. Exhale through your mouth. <sighs> Inhale. And, uh, and just one more. <sighs> Hands back, brave position. We say namaste. Thank you for joining us. See you tomorrow and follow us on Instagram and Facebook as a Sacred Body Studio. Don't forget to like, share, leave your comments. We will read them and answer you. See you soon.